Hello and welcome to HD Calcs. As always, I'm Rick and today we're going to have a look at how we can set the number of decimal places on the Casio FX991 MS calculator. To do this we need to use the mode key that looks like this and is located here. Now normally this calculator is in something called float mode or normal mode where it displays however many digits are needed to give you the answer. So if we do 1 divided by 8, we see we get three decimal places after the 0 because the answer is 0 0.125 while we do 1 divided by 3 we see we use all our decimal places to display the answer. But what if we want to only get say two decimal places in our answer? Well to do that press the mode key here once, twice, three, four, five times until we get to this screen here. And the mode we want is called fix mode. So to get to that we press 1 and then it'll ask us here, fix 0 to 9. This is asking how many decimals we want to display. So if we only want to get two decimals in our answer, we press 2. Now if we try to do 1 divided by 8, press equals, we see we get 0 0.13. That's because the 0 0.125 has been rounded up so that we only get two decimal places and that 2 has now become a 3. This works as well with the 1 divided by 3. You can see we now get two decimal places again and the 3 has not been rounded up because that's less than 5. When you're in this mode you'll see a fix appear at the top of the screen. This lets us know we're in fix mode and our answers will be rounded. Another example we can set to zero decimal places. Zero, there we go. Now if we do again one divided by eight, you see we get an answer of zero. That's because this 0.125 will not actually round up, but if we do let's say one divided by two, which we know should give us 0.5, we get that rounded to 1. Now if we're done with our decimal places we can go back to normal mode by pressing the mode key again 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times. So we're back at this screen and we want to select the third option or norm. So we press 3 and it'll ask us norm 1 or norm 2. I would recommend norm 2 in this case press it and you see we go back to our floating decimals. So now if we do 1 divided by 8 we get all the decimal places needed to display our answer. I recommend normal mode 2 because if you're doing very small numbers like say 1 divided by 100,000 it gives you the decimal answer. While if you're in normal mode 1 normal mode 1, you see it adjusts it to a scientific notation result there. This is up to you. Personally, I like to see the decimals. So I'll turn it back to normal mode 2. And you can see now the fix has actually disappeared from the top of the screen and we're back to our regular calculator mode. Alright, I hope this helps and good luck on those tests out there everybody!